guys, I just got to the Garza Blanca Hotel. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, so aesthetic. But um, I'm running really behind on schedule because we're supposed to check in at like 3. We have reservations around 7 and I need to decorate Trisha's room, but it's not ready yet. So I've just been waiting here and so I'm actually just doing my makeup in the lobby, waiting for my room. I took a fat tequila shot and honestly, I'm a little bit buzzed, but what can you do, right? We just finally checked into our hotel room. Um, it's really nice, very modern, and I had to get ready soon and head to dinner. Um, we've got a full schedule today, but we checked in super late because it took so long just to check in, get here all the way from the airport. It took like about two hours total, maybe almost three. So we're behind schedule. And so I need to decorate super fast. I have a couple people that's gonna help me out. So hopefully we'll get ready in time, play the games. This is the one bachelor I've been planning for for so long. Um, it's my sister, she loves the same things as me. It's basically the bachelor of my dreams. I wanna make sure that this is the perfect for her because she deserves it. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the room tour and then we're gonna get ready and decorate. This is the One Ocean View King Bed Suite, and it's so pretty. We've got the living room right here, and if you go through here, this is the bedroom. So you have the bedroom right here. It's attached to the balcony, and then you've got a bathroom right here. So you got the bathtub, you got this nice light up mirror, there's a shower in here as well. And then you've got the toilet and then this is the closet. So you open it, oh, you've got a lock and you can put stuff in here to hang. And if you actually go outside, then you actually have a second restroom. So this is the dining area with a kitchen. And this is the second restroom. So this comes with a toilet, a sink, and also you have a second shower. So pretty. And then there's also the balcony. Going out here is the ocean view balcony. Oh my God, so pretty. I'm so excited. Ooh, and we got the hammock. How nice is this? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Is that good? Yes, and that looks good. Yeah, it's perfect. We worked super hard to get this Dakar up in time and all hands were on deck. Trisha has some amazing friends and her cousins that was really, really helpful in this entire process. So we were luckily able to finish it within an hour and a half, which is record time for me. And then it was time to surprise Trisha. Trisha. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Do you like it? I love this room. Do you like it? Yes. Do you like it? We couldn't get the It popped. It popped. It popped. It's so cute. I love it. You look beautiful. Everyone showed up looking fabulous for a something blue day and then I finished getting ready and we headed out to dinner. We went to dinner downstairs at this Japanese restaurant called Hiroshi's and then we had Trisha make a little speech. Thank you everyone for coming. You guys are seriously like all of my closest, closest girlfriends and family. You better be. And I know, <laughs> I know you took like a lot of your time and you spent like a lot of time to come over to Cabo and like I really 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 appreciate it and you've done like so much for me through the years like all of you guys have so I'm very appreciative of your time and then thanks Tiffany for Woo! planning this entire yeah. yeah. It was a really cute speech and a really good dinner, and then we headed over to Mandela nightclub for some fun. I ordered Trisha the bachelorette package so girls got a discount and I asked for the throne so she got brought out like the queen that she is. It was so extra, I loved it.
It's the day after. How do you guys feel? The morning after. <laughs> <laughs> it's day two, and we just went to yoga this morning, had some breakfast, and now we're getting ready to go to the pool. Look at all the girls. We have super cute, fun, like bright bikinis on today. It's a vibe. There's Steph and Julia in the back. <laughs> and then Trisha is out in the balcony, <laughs> but ready. we're ready. We're excited to do pool day. <laughs> pool day was much needed and so nice to just unwind after the night before. We loved the rooftop pool because it was adults only. Then after the pool, we got ready for dinner for sunset day at this really cool restaurant in Cabo called Rosa Negra, which I highly recommend going to. It's dinner, but it has such a good vibe there, and there was even a fire show. It felt like a club, but for dinner. It was super fun. Games with Blue Day 6 and the Mantra Co. <laughs> the most beautiful? Wow. Mrs. Wellness over there. <laughs> Look at what we're eating. Look at all this stuff we're eating. The next day flew by. We went to this really trendy boho day club called Taboo and it was so fun. It felt like a Vegas club and all the girls wore matching bikinis. But I forgot to take a lot of footage from this day. We also had a really chill steak dinner at the hotel at nighttime and woke up really early at 4 a.m. for an early flight out the next day. So the bachelor trip in Cabo is finally over and I'm so sad. It was literally the best time ever. So I thought I'd kind of talk to you about my reflections from the trip. I've never executed something so well before. I did it for my sister. Trisha is literally my uh, best friend. She's my soulmate. She is literally someone that I would do anything for and I know that she'd do the same for me. And last year she actually planned that the most perfect bachelorette for me in at Palm Springs so I knew that I just had to return the favor. But it wasn't just that. I just wanted to make sure that like the perfect girl had the most perfect bachelorette. I was so scared that something would go wrong. You know, something always happens in these trips. It couldn't have gone any better. Um, there were like little things that happened like like, you know, it got too windy one day or we didn't think that we had as much time as we thought we would have. Um, but we had a really good mix of like going out to the nightclubs. We also had a really nice relaxing pool day. So it was like a very well-balanced bachelorette. I think that not only is it the activities that's important to make sure that like everything goes well, but it's also the group of people that you're with. It really truly matters. And all of her friends are such a good time. There's all positive vibes, super genuine, super bubbly. My cousin said it right. She basically said that all her friends were a reflection of how beautiful Trisha is inside and out. And um, the fact that she was able to have all these friends for all these years. And so she just, this, she just is such a genuine person. I'm just so happy it went smoothly. I'm just sad that it's over and that's my only regret. I just wish that it lasted longer. But um, yeah, it was great. I hope you liked the videos and the vlogs I tried to put in. We didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of like b-roll or just pictures of the resort but i'll try to insert a lot of my iphone clips in there uh subscribe to my channel if you have not yet otherwise i will see you guys next time and check out my instagram to see all of the fun stories bye